Top of the morning to everyone. Top of the morning. So today we are installing um, client Wayne D. Atley. And who's installing it, Nikki? Juan and Mike. Juan and Mike. Okay. Now, I know Nick remeasured this job mm -hmm. and had some comments. Yeah, it was, super, it was a super cool house, real modern. It's got like the, you know, the fake, or like the brick everywhere in the house and all the sliding doors and stuff. Very modern. Is it a condo? Like a spot, yeah. Or? Yeah, exposed pipes, everything. The whole apartment's real cool, so. Oh, uh, I got you. Yeah, yeah, spaces, yeah, yeah. I got you. Okay, yeah, he's cool. going for a real industrial look, isn't it? Kind of an industrial. He's hit it, yeah. Cool. It looks good. We're yeah. using new material, the stainless the, aluminum. Yeah, the stainless aluminum with black doors and stuff. So he's going for a real, like, metal look. You know? All the panels and shelves are going to be in this aluminum? Yeah, room? stainless aluminum, yeah. Oh, that'll be cool. interesting. It is cool. Oh, that's going to be, cool. Oh, it's gonna be cool looking once it's done. Yeah, yeah, everything's on. Um, Plus, it's on leveler feet. Overlay bottoms yeah. with leveler legs. Oh, ah, okay, yeah, yeah. So it's all elevated off the floor. There's a couple of hampers and. Future stuff world. like that. I mean, Future was, world, yeah. Right. Yeah, it wasn't a lot of extra stuff, but you know, between the leather feet and the bottoms and the material was going to look pretty cool. All right, cool. So yeah, Wayne came to us with, with the design. He pretty much designed everything okay. himself. And um, you know, Nick looked at the designs and looked at the spaces, remeasured it, and so you know, we just told him, hey, we can we can design it or build it exactly the way you want it. Um, we had a designer work with him to, to tweak it, but. Okay. I think it's cool. all tightened up and ready to go. Yeah. Hey, speaking of that, man, I, I was leaving my job the other day and I actually drove by the Homerama house. Uh, the no site. Way. Yeah. Okay. Dude. <laughs> Needless to say, the other guys, they're, they're planting trees already, man. All and, right, and, well, uh, so well, how, how are we looking? Hey, uh, since, I, since I saw you, some two by fours and stuff like that up. So, since uh, you brought that up, I don't know if there's a remeasure going on, but uh, since yeah. you brought that up, here's the site, and the, these are the other builders out there, and you can see everything from yeah. framing to yeah. you know putting the roof on. Right. So, is ours the one back there without the roof on? <laughs> no, I don't. Really, no, that's not no, it. This is us right here. No. <laughs> We're 45 days out. Holy moly! And of course, you know. Um, we got some serious ground to catch up. We're working on designs. Wow, uh, okay. We're working on the spaces. There are going to be some really unique spaces in the house. Uh, a lot of finishing, um, some painting. I just got to tell you, all I got to work off of right now is seeing that house in that state right now. So, well. <laughs> we have 45 days. That's how I feel. <laughs> and that includes installing 20 of our custom Basis. So Oof. we're going to be under the gun, but we will get it done. Okay, All that's right, a wrap. Cool. All right. Everybody work safe. Have a good day. Michelle Nettles of MJN and Associates Interiors. I'm a full service degreed interior designer and I am out here checking on the house that Closet Factory is putting up. I met the people at Closet Factory um, about a year ago when I was doing my own closets and I sent them the designs and they, I think they were a little bit surprised that I knew how to design a closet. So um, anyway, they called me in and talked to me and asked me to design closets for them. And I said, actually, I'm an interior designer and I have my own business. So I've gone out on a few calls helping them with designing closets, but I actually run my business most of the time. So I'm out here today to check on the progress of this home that they're building and I must admit I'm a little bit worried. The fact that I can't measure the windows right now for my custom window treatments has me a little bit concerned. They're going to do some very cool things and I'm excited to see it all come together. I picked the color of the melamine 
of what's going to go in each room because I had to coordinate it with fabrics and rugs and you know furnishings and that sort of thing. But the Closet Factory women are doing the um, actual design of the china closet, the window seats, the um, theater surround um, window built in. They're doing all of those things. Okay, come on in. <laughs> This is the kitchen space right here. You can see it's got a beautiful window. The sink's gonna go right uh, in front of that window. And because there's a beautiful view out there of water and a fountain, um, this is going to be a eating area right here. So we decided to go ahead and make this a keeping room because it's such a beautiful area, all the windows that look out onto such a beautiful view. So it'll be a great place to sit in the morning and have uh, morning coffee and read the newspaper and look out at the beautiful view. And then this is where they're going to put the Murphy bed. And the Murphy bed is a bed that actually stores into the wall. And if you have guests, it can be pulled down. And back there, they're going to actually make the whole wall look like it's built in shelves. And then right here, they're going to do it. It's going to look like a, a shelf, but it's going to be a door, and it's going to be like a secret closet back there. I think they're going to be about five different homes in Homorama, and you can see that you can see straight through the roof of this home. But uh, if you look around at some of the other houses that are under construction, either there or over here, you can see they're much further along than we are. So I'm a little bit nervous about what's going on. I do, however, have complete confidence in Sam and Jeff and that they're going to get it done. Um, I'm, I think we're going to be set up for a great home -arama. Wayne Diatley and you're here shooting some footage uh, for design work that I uh, had hired Closet Factory to do. The design work is to work on a master bedroom closet to make it kind of swanky looking to go with my place here and a couple other um, enclaves and closet areas. I bought this condo about a year ago and decided to renovate it and I wanted to make it much more uh, urban industrial. So um, to go with my flair of that look, more of a New York loft Chicago look, I wanted to kind of make it look, you know, industrial, um, warehousey looking. I saw some footage or articles on Closet Factory and by chance my business partner Pat Feliciano had worked with Tamara in the past. Highly recommended her so I got together with her and we worked on some designs that fit my footprint here. She came out a couple of times and we worked on some designs. The idea was not to make it too beach condo -y. I love the beach, I like the view, but uh, my style is much more urban industrial. And uh, I'm actually really excited to see what it looks like. Hey, good morning. We're here at the Diatli install. This is a condo job, so, and this is the one that's got the really, really cool industrial looking units going into it. So it's going to be pretty cool. I mean, once we get it all together, I'll be curious to see how it goes. Yeah, I've already got the platforms built up, so that should help speed things up somewhat. Um, should, should run pretty smooth. Yeah, so we're going to go up and go look at the space real quick and get going. We got a lot of stuff to take up there. Do it. So I'm and all the, all the units are individual. So this is really more like individual, individual cabinets that we're putting together. Not like a, not so much a built-in closet, so to speak, so. I'm gonna start on this little alcove closet. So as you can see, it's not very wide. So this one's got some really cool, our brand new uh, slide out hampers, our fabric drawers as they call them. So this is gonna be pretty cool right here. That's what we're gonna put right here. that uh, we're using. We usually use these only in, uh, in the garage. 
garage application, but the uh, client has chosen to use these here. Use a little bit more of a contemporary look. I like them because in addition to not having the ink out that tall baseboard, the way you adjust it, the height, is adjusting these little legs right here. You know, and that's how you can um, adjust them to get it level. Mm -hmm. baskets in, in here as soon as I put these two adjustable shells in here because see there's no holes in this so what I'm going to do is just make sure because the way Tamara's got it lined up here they want the same exact spacing between the uh, in between these uh, hampers here so I'll have to hand do those <laughs> See the ray fixes, the way that they're pointed, they're pointed down. So in the way that this is built, see the ray fixes are going to be pointing down now. There's no way to get to it. So we have to build it here and then and set it in the there. the entire thing up and set it on top of this. Right. Uh, take this apart again. Okay. Here's the problem. This, this is bottom ES too. This bottom ES mm -hmm. has hasn't been cut back. That's why, see? This corner uh, L, L section really jacked up the uh, the production side of it as far as like uh, getting the cutlass ready for it. Um, because see how we got notches here for the baseboard and that didn't get into consideration on both sides which made the unit actually wider um, than what we got space for so we couldn't get it to fit. So I had to call because this bottom section is obviously going to be different than the upper section um, as far as the shelving goes because you just obviously you got less room down here than you do up here and they were everything was made at the same size um, so we're getting those remade um, and hopefully they'll get back in a pretty quick time that way we can you know go ahead and finish up so it will not hold us up
Okay, Wayne. Come see. This is so cool. It's cool. This is cool. That's your hamper. Check this out, Bryce. Yeah, you can lift the handles right out and pull it out of the frame. Look at this. We put our clothes in there. It goes into the washer and dryer. This is beautiful. That's awesome. Look and that's that. got a divider in it. Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. It came out really, really, really nice. And it's on the aluminum feet that you yeah. can't really see down there, but it's notched over the baseboard, so the baseboard wasn't affected. Impressive. I think it's really it's beautiful. Cool. I love I it. I mean, it's perfect for the spot, too. This divider yeah. Yeah. can come out if you don't want it in there. It just okay. looks right out. Otherwise, put it in. It also fits in the one underneath. And then you just yeah. close. Yeah, we picked the right choice on this. I think it's color. perfect. It is. Yeah. I dig it. So, yeah, nicely done. Beautiful. I, Beautiful. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. I wouldn't have thought that at the end of the day that it, you know, perfect fit. Well, remember how we were concerned because it's got the 18 inch width yeah. and there was going to be this gap on either yeah. side. And that's what these scribe pieces are for, to fill all of that in so you don't even realize. Yeah, they did a beautiful job down here on that trim too off of that, that base. Looks good. It looks absolutely custom. So let's go look at the other spaces. Let's go. Okay. All right, Wayne, let's see this space. Ooh, looks great. It's perfect. Perfect. Nicely done on the design work. Well, it's a partnership. So. You've got your adjustable shelf inside, and I know you've got collectibles. Collectibles, that I you're can't. going to be putting on the shelves. Yeah, I can't wait to put some of my uh, Olympic memorabilia in here, some of my medals. Um, yeah. So you'll send me a picture, text me a picture Absolutely. of it after it's all decorated. Yeah. Okay, very nice. Beautiful. And these are soft closed doors. Oh, nicely done. Beautiful. So that ought to serve you well. Phenomenal design. I like the adjustable shelves in here too, so I can move things around. I like the way we incorporated the colors that you're using in the condo because the, the barn doors have the black and the aluminum look to them and we've done that with the trim up there and then with the doors down here. So, and then of course even on the feet at the bottom there's a little bit of a black yeah. band around it so it just all ties in so nicely. Like I said nicely done. It's amazing that when you're looking at uh, the notional diagram on a 3D rendering mm -hmm. how well it comes together in real life. So great job. Looks wonderful. So. Are you ready to see the closet? Ready. I am ready. Most to exciting show you part the to look at right now, so let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Here we are. Ooh. Man, this is hot looking. It is sharp. It is sharp. Wow, that is beautiful. Mm. Now. I can put my clothes away. Yes, you now can. Now I can hang my clothes. You can empty the boxes. I can empty the boxes. Oh, this is beautiful. You did an awesome job. And you wanted the drawers up high. Yep. You said that's fine. fine. You, you yep. can use a step stool if you need to. And the beautiful black. It's just, it's picture perfect. Just made the order. You know, just like what you envision. Stuff right in here. It's, it's phenomenal. Beautiful. So you have more drawers. Go ahead and open those. Yeah, oh, nice. I like yeah. that. Clothes. Shoe shelves underneath. Yeah. Can I can hang my clothes now. Yes, you can. Yeah. Oh, nice space here. See, this is perfect. Well, nice. we redesigned that section. Yeah. That yeah. originally didn't look like that, so we did a little yeah. tweaking and. Yeah. Came I, I'd, I'd have to say this is if, if I to look at. The magazines I've looked at over the last probably 12 months and to picture it in my head, this is exactly, this is magazine material right here. Oh, yeah, magazine I am material. so glad to yeah, hear that. Yeah. You look at this bathroom with that, this is this is magazine stuff. This is what people like, ah, that's what I want, that's what I want. So yeah, you did a phenomenal job with the design. Well, so, thank great. you, it was your vision. Yeah, you absolutely. told me what you wanted and I was so excited because I got to use things that a lot of people in this area <laughs> Yeah, metal, which is metal and black and some other different colors, you know, mixing and matching colors together versus all that conformity. No, it's killer. And for a lot of clients, you know, they go vertical and they try to fill in every single inch of space that's available. This is the opposite. This is minimalism. This is, you've got the storage for what you need, and then you're not crowded. There's room to breathe. You can look and see light. And, I just, I love it. It's very calming. Yeah, it all comes together between the floor, 
the color of the wood, you know, the accents of the gray and the black, the metal on it. It's killer. It's the only word I could use, killer. It's a wow factor right now, but again, this is magazine material. What's when people come in here? It'll be the ooh and the ah, and hey, where'd you get that done? Tamra, it's closet factory. Right. Yes. <laughs> I'll give you a short stack you, No, of you cards. gotta leave one stack of cards right down here. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 sure. It looks wonderful job. You did phenomenal. Thank I, you I appreciate very everything much. very much. Thank it's great. you, thank you. Great. It exceeds my expectation. It's been delightful actually to work a lot with Tamra. She's phenomenal. Um, I think the best part about working with her is that she has a great soft side to her, but yet self delivers a great idea. So well, I really appreciate the time that she spent on my project. So you could tell she put a lot of passion and care into it. So she, she represented what I wanted. We have to thank Closet Factory. And again, my hat goes off to Tamara. Again, working with her really, really, really paid dividends for me. So it wasn't pressure, it wasn't a lot of overselling. It was just collaboration against with two folks that wanted to that vision something. So I appreciate it. We just finished up here at the Diatli install. It was pretty awesome install, to say the least. For one, it was a real cool industrial look. Uh, it started off as a really, really easy beach going day. Clouds rolled in. Clouds rolled in in more ways than one. The cracking appeared. Yep. Messed some things up, but we had to fix it. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. The apartment itself is outstanding, and, and I think it showed uh, our new product line, which is pretty cool. I mean, so everything came out really good. Let's get the heck out of here, man. I know. Before it starts raining. Before they release the hounds. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go.